Ning Kunde means mountain of love in the Bira language. It is an incredibly beautiful place. People often say that Congo is both blessed uh, in the same way that it is cursed. This part of the world has been endowed with seemingly endless natural resources. Gold, diamonds, rubber, copper, coltan, you name it, it's here. Because of its immense mineral wealth, it continues to be plagued with violence and conflict. They came into the hospital, uh, they killed people in their beds. A local young man who said that there were 21 members of his family that were killed on this day 22 years ago. 21 people. I was walking around here and the halls were just full of wounded people. I mean, it, it was really like a scene from, from hell. And it was all these wounded rebel fighters. And there was still explosions that were, that were going on and there was still gunfire. And I looked at this guy and he's lying there and he'd been shot through the abdomen and his intestines were coming out. And, and I said, Charles, he's gonna die. I think I did the fastest operation that I've ever done opening up an abdomen. I got in the car and I left. I came back a couple days later and I, I was expecting to hear that this person had died. He, uh, he was alive. This was a case that I thought was hopeless. Seeing this guy survive, what that case taught me was try. You know, you don't know what's hopeless. Yinkunde Hospital has been built and destroyed again and again for nearly a century. It has been bombed, burned, looted. Its people have been murdered and ravaged. Like the people of Ninkunde, it has persevered and risen from the ashes time and time again. this trouble coming because they lack love to each other. Before God, we are one. If people learn that truth, I think our mission will be accomplished.